Welcome guys, I am Laura Wilson, and you are watching Car Focus on Jexton Electric. In this edition, I'm going to review the new 2024 Tesla Model Y. Click subscribe and the bell icon so you don't miss out on our next edition. Let's start with the front of the car. This gray color on the Model Y looks absolutely stunning. While the overall front end design remain the same, Tesla has made some upgrades to the headlights. These are matrix LED projectors, but they've now been enhanced with an adaptive high beam system. What's really clever is how the adaptive high beams can automatically adjust the lighting pattern when other vehicles are approaching. This allows you to keep the high beams engaged for maximum road illumination, while avoiding dazzling or blinding oncoming drivers. Moving on to the side of the new Model Y, it appears to have the same overall design. The gray color pairs beautifully with the black accent trim around the windows and door handles for a classy cohesive look. However, there are a few changes. The most noticeable change is with the wheels. They've switched out the silver Gemini wheels for this sleek new black wheels, which in my opinion, look really sharp. I'm also confident they've made improvements to the suspension system to enhance ride quality. But other than the wheels and possibly better suspension, Mention, there don't seem to be any other major visible changes to the side of the car. Let's now shift our focus to the rear of the car. When it comes to the rear, they don't seem to be any changes. The taillights and turn signals are all LED. However, if we open up the rear cargo area, you'll notice some nice upgrades in terms of material quality. Tesla has used premium soft carpeting to line portions of the cargo floor and side areas. Even the underfloor storage compartments have been finished with a plush carpeted lining. It gives the cargo area a much more refined and luxurious feel. Speaking of space, with the rear seats folded flat, this Model Y provides a spacious 2,158 liters of cargo capacity. Let's go inside the car and check out all the cool upgrades. Starting with the door panels, Tesla has incorporated this sleek, premium textile surface. It complements the soft suede liner material, giving the doors an incredibly luxurious feel. They've also redesigned the door handles to be more ergonomic and comfortable to grip. Even the interior door cards now feature that same premium carpeting material we saw in the cargo area. As soon as you hop inside, one of the first things you'll notice is the redesigned dashboard. Tesla has replaced the previous wood trim with this soft textile material that covers the entire dashboard surface. The material has a fabric-like look and feel that radiates elegance and quality, offering a more premium ambiance than the wood trim dashboards. Similar to the latest Model 3, the Model Y now features ambient lighting throughout the cabin. However, in the Model Y, the ambient lighting is limited to a strip integration along the dashboard. An interesting observation about this new premium textile dashboard material is that it's actually made to perfectly complement the ambient lighting no matter which interior color you choose. Whether you opt for the white interior or go with the black interior, this plush dashboard material works seamlessly with the cabin's adjustable ambient lighting to enhance the overall design and atmosphere. Speaking of the ambient lighting, Tesla has used advanced RGB technology that allows you to customize the color right from the touchscreen. Want to set a relaxing blue mood for a nighttime cruise, or maybe shift to a more vibrant red ambiance for a sporty evening drive? Although it may seem like a minor detail, this feature sets the new Model Y apart and adds a touch of personalization. I'm certain that customers will appreciate and enjoy this unique feature. Tesla has really stepped up the seat quality for 2024 as well. The vegan leather seats are much softer and more comfortable, and the stitching looks really nice. They've also improved the quality of the materials throughout the car. You can definitely feel the difference. The steering wheel got a makeover too. It has a thicker, more ergonomic grip that should help reduce fatigue on longer drives. Don't worry, they haven't gotten rid of stocks for things like turn signals and wipers. Only the Model Y Juniper will have a steering wheel without any stocks at all. Unlike the new Model 3, the screen size in the 20 
2024 Model Y stays the same at 15 inches. The center screen is the heart of everything in the Model Y. This is where you control the climate, so you can make it nice and toasty or cool and refreshing. You can also use it to blast some tunes or even watch a movie on those long drives. This is the software they use in China, so it might look a little different than what you're used to. One cool upgrade for 2024 is the games. You can play some fun games right on the screen while your car charges. Let's move on to the center console. Tesla have improved the feel of the center console. We have two wireless charging pads made with a soft suede liner material. There's also a sliding tray for extra storage, perfect for stashing away smaller items. Don't forget the cup holders, they're perfect for your morning coffee or water bottle. And this armrest opens up for even more storage space. Plus, the glass roof above lets in tons of natural light, making the whole interior feel nice and airy. Let's shift our focus to the rear of the car. Simply extend your outer hand to open the door by pulling the handle. Once inside, you're greeted by these gorgeous black rear seats. Before looking into the details of these seats, it's worth noting that Tesla has been rolling out new features for the Model Y with a recent focus on the Chinese market. That's right, this Model Y is made in China. The rear seats have received some notable enhancements. Tesla has increased the length of the seat cushions on both the driver and passenger sides by 30 millimeters, aimed at offering improved leg support and reducing passenger fatigue during long journeys. This is our Model Y and the China-made Model Y together. You can see the difference in the rear seats. The seat's quality has been improved as well. They are softer and more comfortable. If you fold down the middle seat, you get an armrest with two cup holders to keep drinks or snacks within reach. Over here, we have the rear climate control where kids and rear passengers can control their climate. Let's talk some numbers. The Model Y in China has undergone enhancements. The performance variant achieves a remarkable acceleration from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.7 seconds, reaching a maximum speed of 155 miles per hour and boasting a powerful 425 horsepower. Moreover, the acceleration of the rear-wheel drive version has been boasted, reducing the 0 to 60 time from 6.9 seconds to 5.9 seconds, while offering an extended driving range of 344 miles. Okay guys, this particular refresh is exclusively being produced at Tesla's Gigafactory in Shanghai. However, rest assured that all these exciting changes will soon make their way to the US market as well. These updates in the new Model Y are a direct response to the improvements made in the new Model 3. If you haven't already, I highly recommend checking out our in-depth review of the new Model 3. You can find it up here, it's definitely worth a watch. That's it for today guys, you can now support us using the super thanks feature on the bottom of this video. Consider becoming a member of our EV club. For a small monthly membership fee, you'll gain access to exclusive content just for members. Simply click the join button below to become a member. We will be back again for more car focus, in the meantime, subscribe, goodbye.